A wyvern is described as a legendary creature with a dragon's head and wings, a reptilian body, two legs, and a tail. Wyverns have been known to possess venomous bites, and have also been known to breathe fire on several occasions. The wyvern has often been confused with the dragon, due to the similarities between them. The difference is that a dragon has four legs alongside two wings, whereas a wyvern has just two legs and two wings, and has small hand-like structures at the joint of its wings, very much similar to a bat. This chart shows the structural differences between some famous fantasy reptiles. In the Game of Thrones TV show, the dragons are shown to have structures similar to wyverns. They have two legs instead of four, and rest on the joint of their wings when they land on the ground. Thus, many fans have been claiming that we have been seeing wyverns the whole time instead of dragons. However, George R. R. Martin has labeled them as dragons, and it could be that dragons are meant to be like this in the Game of Thrones series. There is a peninsula in the known world called Wyvern Point, where wyverns are said to be found, and they hunt above its jungles and swamps. Septon Bath wrote about them in a book called Dragons, Wyverns and Wyverns, their unnatural history, and speculated that Valyrian blood mages may have created dragons using wyvern stock. A noble house in the reach named House Viwil, has a silver wyvern as its sigil. Thus, the dragons in the Game of Thrones series have to be considered as dragons even though they represent wyverns, despite many speculations. George R. R. Martin has labeled them as dragons, and it is possible that dragons are like that in the world of ice and fire. In the Game of Thrones universe, dragons are described as creatures with long serpentine bodies, with proportionately long necks and tails. Their bodies have four limbs, two short back legs and two large wings as four limbs, a body plan similar to a bat. So, these dragons in the series can be called dragons because in the world of ice and fire, dragons look like this, even though they represent wyverns in traditional mythology. Modern fantasy has been breaking the old rules for many years. Tolkien's Smog is a great example. Smog is clearly described as being a dragon, but his on-screen self is depicted with wyvern-like characteristics. Even the dragons in the Harry Potter series have been shown to have two legs, a wyvern-like characteristic. George R. R. Martin was certainly aware of the difference between dragons and wyverns while writing the series. He wrote the following on his blog. According to the rules of heraldry, dragons have four legs and wyverns too, yes. But have you ever seen a heraldic seahorse? Heralds didn't know crap about biology. Now, there are no actual dragons, to be sure. But there are bats, and there are birds, and once upon a time there were pterodactyls. Those are the models to use when designing a dragon. No beast in nature has four legs and wings. Wings evolved from walking limbs. Birds evolved from small two-legged meat-eating dinosaurs. The arms of the dinosaurs became wings of the birds. To make four-legged flight possible, an animal would have to possess three muscle anchoring bone girdles, and that body plan simply doesn't exist. George R. R. Martin also said that the best dragon ever shown on film, Vermithrax Pejorative, has two legs and two wings, and his dragons have two legs. What do you think about this? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Have a good day and thank you for watching.